Hello, Joseph Mail here with another episode of Outlast, and apparently I look really silky and he has a secret to tell me, but I don't want to hear his frickin' secret. We're just gonna continue on. That guy saved my life, and I tried to let him out of the prison cell and I couldn't. Oh, shoot. Darn it! I didn't even notice that there's a thing there. Let's take a look at this dead guy, though. Hey, are you okay? Asshole. He's dead. Alright. I didn't even see the hole there. I know you keep on walking up to me and telling me that you have a secret, but you have yet to tell me the secret, prick. You bitch. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing fine. Um, this will be the last recording in this session, so if you have any questions or anything you want to do, go ahead and do it during this video. Is he going to grab me while I'm walking by? What's the experiment? The dead will fall on the living. I got your head. It's still happening. Okay. To jump to the ledge, move forward and press A. All right, I don't know how to jump apparently, um, but yeah, this is the this is the last one in the set of recording. So, like I said, if you have any questions or comments or tips, not um, spoilers, now would be the good time to do it in the video. And there's a bucket of blood, and there's a dude down here. You okay there, guy? You do know that if you're down there, I can't hide there, right? <laughs> <laughs> he should have, you know, came here technology, he would think it was magic, and if he showed modern man magic, he would think it was technology. Let's take this document and read it, I guess, unfortunately. Dr. Rudolph, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich. Germany and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for paper written early computing pioneer Alan uh, written with early computing uh, pioneer Alan Thuring after a cloudy history with the German war effort he uh, immigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department, several decades of government research in Los, uh, Los Alamos led to, New Mex uh, led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wrinkle <laughs> retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A uh, statement from the company calls Dr. Wrinkle a true humanitarian with generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Except for his cats! You do not fucking care about the cats? Thank you, guy. Do you have any batteries? Do you have any batteries? I need some batteries. Okay, let's see. Can we go over here? No. We actually cannot go over there. Alright, I guess we're just going upstairs. We're going upstairs. I can't open your door, I'm sorry, guy. Can't go that way. Somebody, it would scare me if someone actually grabbed me from under the bed. And my head itches now. That's nice. Ah! No! Get away! Ouch. Oh, now I got caught. Okay. That's it. Keep on going. It's funny how the jump scares usually don't scare me. Now I don't know where I'm at. Okay, now I'm in a cell. Oh. Please be dressed. Hey, you. Oh, it's the same guy with just a different skin. I'm sorry, guy with just a different skin. Anybody got any batteries? This remi this right here reminds me of Silent Hill, the room. Batteries? No. Batteries? Yes. As long as I always have one, I'll be fine. We oui. 
It says Wall Rider and has the logo on it. Did he not care that I was here? Apparently. That looks scary. That is scary. Okay, he ran down the stairs, shut the door. Can I turn these on? No. Okay, bye. I can't see anything down here. Well, I guess the only way I can go is this scary-ass way. Don't be scared, it's okay. Goodness gracious, you whiner. Wall Rider. The word Wall Rider is all over the place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider. Project Wall Rider! But the patients talk about the Wall Rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon. Sometimes they found, uh, sometimes they found in the, uh, sometimes, something they found in the mountain. I chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe, maybe it was a glitch on the camera or maybe the place is getting to me. I didn't see it, so I don't know. Wall rider, wall rider, bow biter, banana fan, a full fighter, me, my, mo, miner, wall rider. I just had a flashback of Metal Gear and the little tiny, um, robot. Because of those lockers. Oh, I'm here. This place is scary, gonna be honest. Would you want to jump down that hole? Hell no. Hells to the no. I don't see anything. Battery! Awesome. Assault and battery! <laughs> okay, let's go down the hole then. Oof. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Can I stand up yet? Pardon me. I had to yawn real fast. That's rude. Spooky ghosts! Mm, the shoulder. That was scary. My game glitched for a second. There we go. Oh, it was auto-saving probably, yeah. Find a way out of the skewers. Well, that looks like a butt. Oh, it is a butt! There's a guy in it! I'm smart. Okay, bye, rubble. See you later. <laughs> Sewers are crummy. Can't possibly be people down here, yeah? Cool, I have three batteries to mess around with. That's amazing! You alive or you dead? You gonna jump out at me? What you doing down here? Yeah, gonna be honest, those don't look like, like, duodenums, sphincters or something. I don't know. They almost look, I don't, I don't know. Are those your balls? Did he put your balls there? I'm sorry, guy. I'm assuming it was a he? Could've been female. I don't know. Ew, do I have to go in there? I don't wanna go in there. Can I run while kneeling? No, you can't. You can't run while kneeling! Cans and papers and bottles and cans and papers and bottles. There it was again. That was kind of scary. I'm not going that way. You can kiss my butt. You can kiss my big fat butt. No, oh, no document I won't be able to read. Good, good, good job. I hate picking this stuff up. Gospel of Sand. Found scrawled in pencil on the back of an a, attendance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient father, Martin Ar Arkenbaum? Uh, Bod. Um, this god is real? What we've mistaken so long for ghost spirits madness? We are only hope, uh, we were only willfully ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes? were fear. 
And when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider, gospel, the gospel of sand. The greatest sin in the world is willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the wa uh, waiting flock. This place to stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. All right, whatever. I wanted to go up this ladder, but I can't. And there's body parts all over the place, legs and arms and stuff. I have to go this way. Look at that. No spider, though. Flush the water by turning two valves. Prison drain. Lower junction. Female drain. Okay. Prison block drain, female ward drain. Um, I am here. So I need to go down into the right to get the one and... Uh, okay, I'm not going to remember the female one. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's really bad. <laughs> I didn't expect to see him again, actually. At least it's not penis, guys. Pretend you're not seeing me drink this. I feel bad, but I need something to drink. Is it? Yeah, the logo's not facing. It's obvious what it is. Um. Ow, my shoulder. Why don't you slam that door? Oh! Well, look! Uh-oh, here he comes. In the locker. Yeah, there he is. Check to see if the door is open. Why do you have to break in? Asshole. Is he gonna try the locker next to me? Do they ever try the locker you're in? Yes, they do! They do! Hey guys, how's it going? Ow. Bye. Oh, that's not the way out. Excuse me. Heart no! no! Excuse me. Oh no. No, that's not good. That's bad. That's very bad. Alright, let's do that again. Okay. I can't go to the lower junction until the two valves are done. We're going to run to the female ward first, then. Not this way. Is he going to grab my feet? Because that would be hilarious. Hey. Bye. <laughs> we'll go to the one furthest away first. I'm gonna see if I can remember how to go the other way.
Oh my. No, don't jump! Stupid. He goes this way no matter what. There's something back there. There's batteries. There's a battery back there. Thank you. Okay. Tuba. Tuba duba bobo ba banana fana fa fuba. He heard me. Bye. <laughs> that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. I don't like this. All he has to do is just turn back on the frickin'... Oh my. Um, you got no bits there, bud? You don't. They cut off your bits. I'm sorry. Why did the twins get to keep their bits, though? Everyone else's bits are gone. His bits are gone. Your bits are gone. My bits are gone. Everyone's bits are gone. Except for the twins. Penis heads. I saw something over there. Pardon me, I burped if you didn't hear that. Was there something the other way? Let's look real fast. Because even if there was a battery that way... Okay, there was nothing. I just wanted to double check to see if I didn't miss anything. Oh my gosh, this place smells so bad. Oh, that looks scary. <laughs> go back the other way. I don't want to go up there now. He knows I'm coming up there. You better not be touching yourself or something. I'm gonna have to punch you in the face with my camera. Don't say poop. Poopy. It's too bright. Shut off the... Oh, this place looks scary. I'm not walking over any of those. No freaking way. Yeah, Dr. I do. Barricade. Yeah. It died before he a Wernicke. Here. Okay. What kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? That's the question. That is a good question. You could have fixed the gap in between your teeth. <laughs> the doctor is dead. The patients know Dr. Did he say Wernicke? Is dead. One asks me, what kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on the living patients? What is Project Wallrider? Well, it's when you take a wall and you write on it. Uh, duh. 
Yeah, not going down there. You can kiss my big fat butt. Oh, battery. Score. Oh, this is... No, this isn't where I came from. This is the other side. So where did the... Flashlight guy go? Was that him? Hey, thanks for your help, Mr. Shopkeeper. You live down here with your little tiny stuff and your shit. Good on you. You're a good member of society. Look like a the light going through the floor there. Okay. Well, this has been Jez DeMail, and we'll go down here tomorrow. Oh, no! <laughs> I will see you later for another episode of this. Goodbye.